Welcome to BMW Today. My name is Eddie Weirata. I'm a trainer and an instructor at the BMW Driving Experience. And we are right here at the heart of the BMW Driving Experience Academy in Meisa near Munich. Today we've got all the time and all the space to discover the BMW Driver Assistance System. All right then, now I want to show you a real cool feature. It's called the reversing assistant. So I want to show you how it works. I put my reverse here now, put my finger on the reversing assistant. You see the steering wheel turns green, the screen turns on and it's counting down 50 meters. And maybe you've seen the disclaimer telling that take your hands off, control the reverse driving um, with your eyes, but actually the car is now really taking care on its own. A bit scary, that's what it might feel for you, but actually if you've done this a few times, it's really relaxing. It's pretty cool. I can even watch the camera, but I'm still controlling the process um, on the way out. And if it's too fast, I can still slow it down with my brakes. You see, it's counting down from 19, 18 meters. I let go. And the car just gently takes me exactly to the same position where I've started my journey. There we go. It says, end of route will be reached shortly. Here we are. That's it. Pretty cool feature, isn't it? Well, on the way to the test ground, I can quickly show you guys the automatic speed limit assist. So if I set my car up to, let's say, 60 on a country road, that's the standard cruise control as everybody knows it. And the camera system now picks up the new speed limit, which is 100. So automatically the car starts accelerating to the new speed limit. And in case of there's a slower section ahead, like the 60 coming up here, picks up the new speed limit and starts braking and slowing the car down. That avoids a lot of traffic fines, I tell you. Pretty cool. Well, another nice feature I want to show you guys is the parking assistant. It's also part of the package. Uh, well, we guys coming back to the main building and our driving courses, we have to park our instructor cars like here. And some of the parkers are pretty tight. I have to admit, I'm a pretty sh parker, but I've got something that made my life very easy now. When I put the reverse gear, you see the system's already found a park spot. I just hit this one. The indicator comes on automatically. My steering wheel has turned green with the green LEDs showing me I'm ready and I got the disclaimer. So I release the brake. I've got all the cameras on now and you see the car turns quickly and takes me fully automatic in the parking. I mean, sometimes it's a bit scary, I have to say so, so I'm, I'm not trusting it all the time, but actually you can see how easy and how nice and how stressless uh, this is going to assist me in real life. And I tell you what, when we compare the quality of our parking amongst the instructors, I always win. So you see, one or two corrections. I don't even have to hit the brakes. Uh, the car's taking me in here completely automatic, puts me exactly in the middle, gives me the stop signal, puts the brakes, says the vehicle is secured, and I just can get out of my car uh, in a relaxing way and exactly in the middle. Well, let me show you guys also the parallel parking of the parking assist. And of course, it can do both T-Park and parallel park. I've got all the cars lined up here for training and there's a gap. Mostly in real life, you pass the gap and you actually then realize, well, I could have parked my car over here. So I'll stop the car. It has already checked out if it's big enough. So the display shows me, yep, there is a parallel parking possible. I have to select it here. Indicator turns on, steering wheel turns green, so it looks like it's all set. And now it's going to be taking me back into the position. And actually it's a fully automatic situation as well. The car controls the steering, controls the gears, uses the PDC sensors, and that can help a very, very much, I tell you. Especially when it's dark, it starts raining, and you do not feel as comfortable as I could feel on a nice bright day over here. 
Don't get scared. The car really parks tight. You can see it just goes one forward, one backward. Gives me an acoustic signal and says the parking has been completed. There is even more help. If you want to go out for traffic now, coming back, um, I can put the parking assist again. And now look at this. There is a blue arrow. I hit it and it says I'm going to help you parking out. Release the foot. Takes me back, controls the steering, plus the brakes and the gas, changes the gears, and now it's actually putting me into a position where I can park out in one go. So I'm checking the traffic, there's nothing coming, I just hit the gas, and I'm taking my car out of this position. I don't need to take care of the front end because the measurement has been done already. That is cool. We are now here on the taxiway. I promised you guys at the beginning that we're going to talk about driver assistance systems. So in front of me, I've got business traffic, a traffic jam. This car is specced with the lane guidance assistance system. Well, it's called the driver assistant professional. Here is the road. You can see it. I press the button and the car is taking over control. It's as easy as that. Well, I shouldn't take my hands off the steering wheel, but now, you know, the car is taking over the steering plus the distance. It can automatically come to a complete halt and automatically drive off afterwards again. If I keep my hands off too long, it turns yellow to remind me it's illegal to take the hands off for a longer time. But people do, for example, have a zip of water or have a coffee. And sometimes during traffic jam, there's a lot of accidenting happening. Not with this, because the car has an eye on the road and an eye on the other traffic members. For instance, the X5 in front of me. So that car comes to a stop. I'm watching the camera, but my car comes to a complete halt um, by even not touching the brakes or the gas. That is pretty cool. And the package also has the functionality that in case the car keeps off driving now, my car starts driving off uh, automatically at the same time. So for me, that is definitely improved safety. In the community, if you ask yourself, what happens if you do not touch the steering wheel, you see what happens. After yellow, there comes red, it's like in football. And then you're out of the game, so the car comes to a complete stop on its own, takes a safety stop, turns on hazard lights, makes a terrible noise um, to either wake you up, or if there is a medical problem, then show the other cars around it, you know, this car is stationary. Well, pretty cool feature, um, I guess, and uh, it rises up the level of comfort and safety, especially for those people who do a lot of driving with many miles and kilometers per year. Well, thanks for watching BMW Today. I hope you enjoyed the demonstration of the driver assistance systems. For more information on the BMW driving experience, check this 